Hello. It's windy out there again. Another storm's coming. So I've got the day off work. Oh well. So I'm going to be making some kidney bean wine. Oh yes. I've never made it before, but it's going to be worth a try. I can't find any recipes for it anywhere. So, it's going to be an experiment. I'm going to see what I can do. Make up some kidney bean wine. See how it goes. Give it a test and hopefully it will be awesome. I'm going to be using tinned or canned red kidney beans. Using these because raw kidney beans contain a toxin. It's a toxin that also has a very long name. Right here, somewhere. Can't pronounce it. It's Latin for something. Those Latin people do like their long words. I don't know. They don't make it easy for us, do they? Anyway, so I'm going to go in and get started on the kidney bean wine. Come and join me. And so, on to the kidney wine. I'm excited. I've never tried this before, and to be honest, I don't think anyone has. Can't find any recipes online, so either people have tried it and it's so bad they don't want to admit to it, or it's brilliant and they're keeping it a secret from us. But who knows? So let's give it a try. First thing we need, kidney beans. As I said earlier, I'm using kidney beans in a tin. I'm using Morrison's and Cooperative. Other brands are available. What I'm going to do, put them in a pan and boil them. Once your beans are in the pan, I'm going to add just over a kilo of sugar, or a bit more if you like followed by 500 grams of raisins or sultanas. This will add a lot more body to the kidney beans and maybe add a, that bit more wine style velocity. I would hope. So there it goes. You can shove it all in, bring it to the boil and boil for an hour. Hello again. Once your kidney beans have been boiling with your raisins and your sugar, you want to let it cool, then decant it into your fermenting bucket. So that's what we're going to do now it is. Tidy. Once all your goodness is in your bucket, you want to add your yeast. A small sprinkle will do. So just pour some in, then put your lid on it, put it somewhere warm for a few days, let it start fermenting, and I wonder what it's going to be like in a few days' time. I'll have to wait and find out. Good morning. It's been a few days since I made my kidney wine. Kidney bean wine, it's not kidney wine. Not tried that yet, kidney wine. It's on the cards though. Anyway, I wrapped it into a demijohn this morning from the primary fermentation bucket. I'm trying to drop now. To be honest, it's a bit of a murky colour it is. Not a bad colour, it's just very thick at the moment, but that will clear out as time progresses. It's, what I would call it, chocolatey, muddy, Dishwaterish colour, really. What you'd find in your grey tank or your bilges on your boat. But hey. Flavour wise, not too bad. Very sweet at the moment. Obviously, the sugar hasn't fermented out yet. But it will turn into alcohol soon. So, I'm going to leave this somewhere warm for the next few weeks and see how it clears, see how it ferments, and hopefully I'll get back to you in a few weeks with an update. 
So that's my kidney bean wine. You tempted? Go on, give it a go. I think next I'm going to be making seaweed wine. Oh yes. You've got a little bit of seaweed wine. Haven't you? Tidy. See you all soon.